Hi everybody, so today I want to show you how to make a really nice berry smoothie. So I love eating berries, they're great, they're in season at the moment and the good thing about berries is you can buy them frozen and relatively cheap. The good thing about frozen berries as well is that they're generally frozen straight immediately so they're actually a lot fresher than perhaps what you're getting in the shops especially here in Ireland you know what strawberries shouldn't be in season in October so you know try and uh, just pick your fruits and you know just use what is in season so today I'm going to be using lots of nice frozen fruit I have here lovely frozen raspberries and frozen blueberries okay, so they're just really nice I'm going to be quite generous I'm actually starving so I'm going to get a good portion into me and have sort of a semi dinner out of this as well so i've got raspberries and blueberries in there and then i have lovely frozen blackberries here okay so frozen blackberries i love blackberries and this is going to be a really nice rich purple color so you have to be careful with the other colors that you put into it i'm not going to put spinach or kale in here for instance it would turn it a very mushy kind of gray color and that just reminds me of mushrooms and anyone who knows me knows i absolutely hate mushrooms that's my own personal choice nothing against mushrooms or mushroom farmers okay just my own personal choice so i'm going to uh i'm going to add here just a little bit of avocado today this avocado i've managed to just catch it just in time okay that's the trouble with avocados you can see they're here one minute and then they're gone the next. So I'm just gonna use him up. And as I said to you before in my last smoothie uh, video that you know my hair and my nails really do benefit from avocados. They love it. So um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit in there. It's gonna make it nice and creamy as well. I love, love, love mangoes. And again, they're quite an exotic fruit obviously for us here in Ireland. So again, just make sure it's nice and ripe. This one looks absolutely perfect and I love it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, really nice and juicy. Um, so this is really full of lots of vitamin C, lots of antioxidants to mop up free radicals, which can damage cells in your body. So, you know, we just want to look after our body. I'm having a vegan day today, so vegan Monday for me today. I do try and be vegan, vegetarian as best as I can. And again, like anyone knows me, chocolate's my big downfall. And of course, obviously there's milk in chocolate. So less said about that, the better. But I am human. And hopefully some of this is going to outdo some of my sugar addiction. So I have here is uh, some coconut butter. I love coconut water. It's full of electrolytes. So mother nature is really clever. She puts what you need in the location. So for instance, coconuts, coconuts grow in very warm countries where they need electrolytes and rehydration. Okay, so think of Robinson Crusoe. You could last on a desert island with your coconut water and also the flesh. I used to think desert Ireland was desert Ireland. I used to think it was an island full of cakes when I was a kid. But um, again, that whole sugar addiction is obviously strong, but it isn't. It's a, a deserted island, not a desert island. So we're going to have a little bit of mango juice here as well. Now I got this mango juice the other day. I was in an Asian or a foreign culture shop, ethnic supermarket, and it was brilliant. It was full of really great stuff. I also got these King Kong grapes. And can you see the size of them? My God, they're huge. So King Kong grapes I got in there as well. And you know what, they're really good value and they're really nice people in there as well. And uh, that's so I got mango juice, fresh mangoes, King Kong grapes. I also bought ginger and turmeric in there as well. And you know what, the whole lot was like three euros. It was amazing. So I'm just gonna throw a couple of grapes in there for a little bit of look. Um, I'm gonna see how this works out. I might need to put a little bit of yogurt in it to thicken it up, but I'll see. And again, I'm using soya yogurt because again, it's vegan Monday, so I want to be fully vegan. I'm gonna put a right good squeeze of lime in here as well for uh, to take the, you know, just for a little bit of bite, you know, cause it'd be quite bitter with all of the fruit. But uh, let me just do that. I'm gonna whiz this up now in a second. So my blender would wake the dead guys, so I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm gonna turn the, um, the camera off now in just a second and whiz this up. I'm gonna show you what else I've got here today for my lunch. So I'm kind of having lunch stroke dinner, it's four o'clock. I'm teaching classes tonight, so it's kind of important that I get uh, enough calories in me to keep me going for the night and lots of good stuff that I'm not gonna get a food coma either. You know, I don't wanna have like a Christmas dinner and then go out and try and eat or try and teach classes. You know, that's just not gonna happen. So this is a lentil, green bean, and pesto salad that I buy um, in one of our local supermarkets. It's in a chain of supermarkets. I actually get it in Aldi. I'm not, uh, I'm not promoting any supermarket. I just happen to like this. It's really convenient. 
I'm also going to bulk that up today. So I have uh, some cherry tomatoes, I have cucumbers. I'm gonna stick more avocado in it because I have the other half of that one to use. I also have some nice happy peppers. They look really happy today. This one especially, it looks like a good big smile. So I'm gonna pop them in as well. And I also have spinach and kale. Kale is brilliant at this time of year. It's in season, so use it as much as you can. Uh, you can make cold cannon, which is putting it into your mashed potatoes. Or you know what, like me, if you're just really, really lazy in the kitchen, stick it in your smoothie. Job is oxo, job is done. So let me just whiz this up for you. I'll be back to you now in just one second because my blender is so noisy, okay? I'm gonna have to put it on and run out of the room. So let's do that and I'll be back in two seconds. Hi everybody, so here I am and I have got my finished product. So bon appetit and cheers. So this is my berry smoothie. You can see it is beautiful purple color and you know what, it tastes fantastic. I didn't need to put any yogurt in there after all. It's quite uh, tangy and I absolutely love a good tangy, uh, you know, anything sort of citrusy, I uh, love spicy food. So this is really, really nice. You know, it's just, um, it's not sweet. It's just really, really bitter from my uh, lime. It's got a really lovely tang. Um, this is also the finished product of my uh, cheat meal. <laughs> so um, I know it's October but, and you know, salads, maybe not your favorite thing, but um, for me, I'm happy to eat raw food. I don't, you know, I don't care. You know, I, I can go quite happily without a hot meal. But um, anyway, I've got the um, the base of the salad that I showed you earlier. I've, after putting on nuts and seeds as well, I actually threw some of the extra mango on top as well. Peppers, cucumber, cherry tomatoes. I didn't use the pesto because I'm teaching classes later. I don't want to stink garlic, but not only that, I don't want it repeating on me. So that's me for today. That's my vegan Monday meal and my lovely berry smoothie. So I hope that you enjoyed it and why not send me your own recipes as well. You can post them down here in the comment box and I will see them. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All my links are here. Don't forget I'm training for the Alto Letras in Colombia in December. I also teach yoga for cyclists, Pilates. I'm a physical therapist and I'm also a personal development coach. So a bit of a one-stop shop, hopefully. So whatever you need, get in touch. I love hearing from you and I absolutely love getting comments. You can contact me on Facebook as well and Instagram. So take care and have a brilliant Monday. I know I'm going to feel amazing after this fantastic meal.